Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play, one that you have probably never heard of before. This is Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime for the Nintendo DS, and just keep, bear in mind, just, just keep an open mind for this game, because this is seriously one of the most criminally underrated games I have ever played. This is a game by Square Enix, kind of in the Dragon Quest area. You've, you've probably heard of the game Dragon Quest before, or the series. This is like a spin-off game, and it's super, super fun. And this is honestly a game that I wanted to let's play for a really long time, but I didn't think I would be able to, because it's a DS game, and DS games are very hard to capture. I have found a way to capture it. I got my good attitude. I got my Xbox 360 controller that I got for my birthday to play out this on. And let's get started. So the one, one of the few bad things about this game is there's only one folder, but... We can make do with that. We're going to venture forth, and we get to select our name. <laughs> and as you can see, you've got the little slimes up on the top screen that go in the shape of the letter that you are hovering over. Including lowercase. We're just going to name ourselves Rocket. That's the name of the main character. And I'm boring and default. So we're going to name ourselves Rocket. Are you sure? Yes, we are. Let's get started. I think this game is just good to j just jump in and see what it's like. And this game gets more exciting later on in the game. Anyhow, once upon a time, there was a small kingdom called Slimenia. There, in the peaceful town of Boinberg, lived a slime called Rocket. Hey, big brother! Hooey's after a fight again! He should be hanging out in the usual place. Come on, let's hurry to the palace garden! Hi, Rocket! What took you so long? Take a look at this beauty! Check it out! It's pretty amazing! It's called the Warrior Flute! I say! Isn't that one of his royal wobblinesses treasures? Whatever are you doing with it? Chill out! I'll put it back later! He'll never know what was gone! So, Rocket! How about we say today's winner gets to play us all a tune? You mustn't play with his royal wobblinesses treasures! I'm having no part of it! It'll be fine, I tell you. We'll decide the winner with a game of sweepstakes. The fastest one to clear up all the leaves gets a toot on the flute. I did it in 60 seconds. If you can beat that, you win. The best way to clear up the leaves is by using an elastoblast. If you stretch out and build up some power, you'll be able to shoot around really fast. You should give it a try before you start. I know you can do it. Give Elastoblast to go! Check the upper screen to see how. So first, we hold down the A button, then we stretch in the direction we want with the D-pad, then we release A, and we will go flying. And the longer you hold A, the more you'll charge up. Once you start glowing, that's as much as you can charge. You can also Elastoblast into fiends, and it'll knock them around. And when they're being knocked around, you can also pick them up just by being underneath them. So as you can see, I've picked up this sign, and I've picked up that sign. So that's pretty cool. You can also just push the A button to jump, and you can also push the B button to throw stuff around. This is all going to be important later on in the game. But as you can see, it's just kind of a top-down game where an adorable little slime who looks kind of like my avatar, and that's a bit... that's intentional, believe me. Anyhow, let's give it a go. Tutorial over. Dragon Quest Stretch and Shoot Sweepstakes! Beat Hooli's record of 60 seconds. So this is a joke to beat. All you have to do is Elastoblast into these leaves, and it's they're going to just get knocked away. So as long as you work in a pattern, it's pretty simple. Boom! 12 seconds. Clean sweep! Hooli's record, 60 seconds. Your record, 12 seconds. Hooli's record is history! <laughs> oh, I love this game. This is amazing. No way! You beat my record! That was absolutely smashing, Rocket! You were brilliant! Huh, no one likes to be a loser, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Never say I don't keep promises, Rocket. Here, the warrior's flute is yours. I wonder what kind of sound it'll make. Go on, give it a blow. Hmm, that sounded like the warrior flute, but who would dare to toot upon it so? Oh, crumbs, I think it was your dad, Rocket. 
Yikes! We have to hide that flute. Um, uh, I've got it. <laughs> well, what do you think? I reckon it should do the trick. Do you have a care, Hooli? If he wasn't a slime, that would have jolly well hurt. Okay, okay. You're right. I won't do it again. I promise. Oh, he looks awesome. Big Daddy. What are you doing in the palace garden? I told you children not to play here. Well, never mind that now. Have you little ones seen the warrior flute? It's shaped just like this, in fact. What exactly is this? Um, uh, it's, um, a, it's a bat. Hmm, well, it's a very strange looking bat. I've never seen one with eyes before. It's got eyes so it can see the ball. Even I can manage to hit with it. Good for you, little Bo. What a bat. Well, let me know if you find that flute. And for the umpteenth time, don't play in the palace garden. What a splendid fib you came up with, Bo. I didn't know you had it in you. I'm not just a cute face. Come on, let's go. We'll get into trouble if we hang around here. <laughs> so now we are Rocket with the warrior food shoved in us. That's kind of hilarious. <laughs> Jay later, baby. At least you can still move around. I doubt you can manage an Elasto Blast, though. Oh my goodness! What was that? It felt like an earthquake. Yeah, be prepared for a lot of slime puns in this game. It sounds like something's going on in town. I wonder what's happening. Hmm? What's all this shaking about? What in heaven's name is going on? I have a bad feeling about this. I must see what's happening in town. Nice jump, Big Daddy. I don't know what this is all about, but it looks pretty exciting. Let's go and see. You follow us, Rocket. You're a bit slow like that, so we'll go on ahead. I love the music in this game, too. I say that about, like, every, literally every game I play. Oh, who are these guys? Who are you, monsters? What are you doing here? Heh <laughs> Meet the plob, you putz. We want to know where you slime balls keep that warrior food of yours. How dare you speak to me like that? That food is none of your business. Huh, you got some nerve there, Pops. Looks like we got no choice. We're gonna have to slime nap the lot of ya. We'll get one of ya to talk. I'd like to see you try. You'll have to get by me first. Enough of the heroics already. Get him, boys! Oh, ho, ho, he's so cool! You won't get the better of me that easily. You've really asked for it now, swine bag. I ain't got no choice. Ah, Not again! How are you doing that? Oh, <laughs> um, yeah. So that's our town, and yeah, that's a tank. <laughs> this doesn't look good at all, now does it? My word! What is that? What a huge monster! Hehehe! <laughs> now then, Schmo, you'd better come quietly. Oh, I have no choice. I cannot let Boinberg suffer any more damage. What an honorable guy, that Big Daddy. Hey! Let me go! I'm the great hero Hooli! You don't want to cross me! Daddy! Mommy! I'm scared! Help! Help, Rocket! Help! Hey, stop right there! What is it, boss? What do you mean, what is it? What have you got there, huh? It's this swine, boss, ain't it? That ain't no swine, you schmuck! I ain't never seen a swine that long in Finn. Really? Eh, uh, then what is it? Eh, uh, that there's a worm, I tell ya! Ugh, a worm! Sorry, boss, I had it all wrong. Ya dozy puts! Come on, let's hightail it out of here! Without warning, the town was attacked by a mysterious group called the Plob. All of the town's slimes were snatched up and taken away. And Rocket, who was lucky enough to escape the Plob's clutches, was thrown all the way to Forwood Forest, a few miles from Boinberg.
Whee! So then we're gonna get thrown right into the first world. Forward forest! Ouch! The warrior foot pop pops out of your mouth. But it seems to be broken! It's no use like this. You put it away. It sounds like some of the gain are nearby. Why don't you go and find them? So now we actually get into the re real part of the game. Very little tutorial in this. So let's go on forward. I say, is somebody out there? There is, isn't there? I can smell you! Yes, I know that smell anywhere! It's you, isn't it, Rocket? And here, it's me, Swatsy! Would you mind letting me out of this box? An Elastoblast should do the trick. Just give it a jolly good whack. That should break it open. Hurry now. Alright, Elastoblast. Thanks so much, old chum. I was in a rather tight spot there. Now let's hurry on back to town. Oh, bother! What's with ma the matter with my wings? Being stuck in that wretched box for so long has made them go to sleep. I know, Rocket. Maybe you could carry me back to town. Would you mind? Knock me into the air with an Elastoblast. Be sure to catch me before I hit the ground. I know it probably seems rather rough, but it's the only way. Yeah, so now that we've actually let the slime out of the box, we have to hit Swatsy and then pick him up. Well done, Rocket. That was a splendid catch. Now, if you'll just carry me back to the entrance, I'll be on my way. When we get there, just launch me in the direction of town. Face the way you want to throw me, and then press the B button. Easy as pom-pom pie! Yeah, pretty easy. This is it, Rocket. You can throw me from here. Face toward town, and press the B button to send me on my way. Alright, Swatsy. Off we go, Rocket! So we can just kind of carry him all the way back here. Once we get in between these flowers. This is it, Rocket! You can throw me from here! Yep, now we can press the B button. Smashing! Thank you! I'll just find my- I'll be just fine on my own from here on. I suppose I'm the lucky one. Think of all those other poor chaps still being held captive. You must save them! I'm sure you can do it, Rocket! I'll take care of things back in the town, so don't you worry about that. What a guy, that Swatsy. You just received a letter from Swatsy! Press start to open up the menu screen. Then press the L button to switch to the letters screen. So this is the cool thing. So basically what the game's gonna be all about is rescuing all of the slimes. Every time you rescue a slime, they will send a letter once you bring them back to town. I apologize, I just dropped my controller there. So now we can push the start button, we can go over here, and we got a letter from Swatsy. Let's read it. Hurrah! Here I am back in town and it's all thanks to you, Rocket! I say, did you know you can press start to see the menu screen? It's jolly useful. By the way, I'm enclosing a super little gift. I hope it comes in handy for saving the others. And every letter will contain a special prize. Pom! p p pom p p p p pom You picked up a pom-pom. So that's an item. We can use that later on in the game. But as we, can, as we go around, we can just kind of explore the area. So there's a gate here. Can't do anything past that. Right now, we just gotta explore the world a little bit. Oh, what's up here? Get a move on, Babbo, you lazy schmo! We're running out of daylight here! S sorry boss, it's just, I'm beat. You're what now, schmo? You ain't never gonna make a two-tailer with that attitude! Put your back into it already! Sure thing, boss. I'm on it, boss. Heave! Heave! <laughs> this game's big on physical comedy. S sorry, boss. Guess that was one heave too many. You better believe it was, you dozy puts. Now let's split. Wait up, boss. Wise Guy and Babbo. We'll be seeing them quite a bit in the game. Ooh, pots! Much like Zelda, you want to break pots? They got money inside! We can't use money right now, but we can later. Who's in here? 
Thanks, Squishy. Huh? <laughs> you think you could carry me back to town? Gah! <laughs> Looks like I'm not the only hard case around here. Okay, let's roll. See those tracks just there? That's the Transylvanian Railway. Gah! <laughs> Here's a cart now. They're a great way to get around. Anything you can carry, they can carry too. Town's just a stone throw away. So chuck me on and I'll see you later. Gah! <laughs> Alright. Throw him on the rail cart, and that'll take him back to town for you, which is pretty n nice. Gaha! <laughs> Thanks, Squishy! You solid! See you back in town! What a guy, that Stony! I used to think he was a jerk, but he's really not. And we get a letter from him as well. Gaha! <laughs> How are things rolling along? I'm sending something to keep you rocking. We're counting on you to rescue everyone, Squishy. We've no stone unturned. All these puns! It's great. I love it. We get another pom-pom for that. Wait, no, I did not really want to read his letter again. Sorry. Let's continue on. Oh, there's a chest up there. Is somebody out there? I'm afraid I need some help. I appear to be rather high up, so I don't think you can reach me by jumping. The only way up here is by coming around that big tree stump. You mean the one with Transylvanian Railway seated on it? Yep, that's the one. The carts can hold up to four things at a time. You should collect a few items and try it out for yourself. Oh, and if you could spare a moment to set me free, I'd be awfully grateful. Well, since you asked so politely... There are also items like pom-poms you can find lying out on the course. You want to pick these up, and you can throw these on the rail carts, and I'll bring them back to town and add them to your item inventory. That is something I did not realize on my first uh, playthrough of the game, so I'm like, how am I getting... How do I need to get all these items? Yeah, you throw them on the rail cart. It's that easy. The rail cart can hold up to four things on top of it, so you can stack them. But anything beyond four, and it's not going to work out. So that just added one chest and then one pom-pom uh, to my inventory. We can climb up that rope here. And grab this chest. These ropes are really easy. You just jump on them, and then you can move up and down to just move up and down them pretty darn quickly. Bring that back. Oh, what's going on up here? These two again. Things shifted already! I told ya! You gotta put your back into it! I'm pretty beat, boss. These slimy dudes are kinda heavy. Those slimy little guys can run around with three things on their heads, Babbo! We ain't gonna let them beat us. If they carry three, we carry a hundred. A hundred's too many, I tell ya. But I guess I'll give it a go. Yeah, so that's just a little... Oh, hang on. These no-good slimes are a pain in the back. Maybe I'll leave this to block the way. Ha! Huh, now no slurper can follow us through. So yeah, he just put that construction sign there, so that adds a, acts as a complete wall, so we can't go through there. He was basically alluding to the fact that we can carry three things on our head. You saw me carry two, and that was just kind of unconscious. Yeah, you can carry more than one. You can carry up to three things on your head. No more than three, though. This is a medicinal herb. If we pick it up, it'll refill our HP if we lose any. But honestly, this game, you don't lose a lot of HP, and it's a pretty easy game. Which is good. Hopefully there won't be much raging in that. <laughs> in this game. Throw the pom, pom on there. These items will have a use later on in the game. At the beginning, they're going to do absolutely nothing, but they will have multiple uses later on in the game. So, best collect as many as you can. And let's free this slime. Oh, it's a nun! Bless you, Rocket. I'm so, so glad you managed to let me out. It's Mother Glooperier. 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 How did... Yeah, Mother Glooperier. <laughs> it's like superior. Thankfully, it seems there are none of those misguided platos... platyosi nearby. Now's the perfect time for us to return to town on the Translamenian. No doubt the Plob will be back here in Forward Forest again tomorrow. And you will have to fight them, my slime. Don't be disheartened. Good will prevail. And if you put items on the carts, they'll be carried back home into town. 
Collect up to whatever you can. Every little bit helps. You can continue adventuring all night, but if the plob beat you, night or day, you'll lose half your gold coins. So be sure not to push yourself too hard now, won't you? Uh, like I said, it's very difficult to get knocked out in this game. You, It's pretty easy to survive. And that's it for Forward Forest, at least this day. We've saved three slimes. There are 14 more on this level so for a grand total of 17. That means we now have three slimes in town. And this right here shows what which items we brought back. Items collected and monsters collected. There were no monsters today, but much like items, collecting monsters is also important for mainly just one Fane. And I will get into that later on. After arriving home, exhausted from your hard day's slurp, you goo straight to bed. <laughs> this game and its puns. I love it. Then the next day... <laughs> I know that is exactly how I sleep. <laughs> so this is our house. We got the nice blue bed here. Rocket, no jumping on the bed. Even if you are made of, like, gelatinous goo that is extra bouncy. And this is our sister Bo's bed. Poor Bo, she's still captured. So this is the rest of our house. It consists of a living room area, and kind of sort of a kitchen. Not much, though. Fireplace here, but we can't go in it. Yeah. Pretty nice. And our town's a dump, wow. How could they do such a terrible thing to our sacred church? Dear Goddess, how can we ever forgive the Plob for such wickedness? The whole town's littered with iron balls. These Platyosi have got hearts of stone. I say, there's something written on them. I wonder what it means. The ST stands for slime tons. It's a measure of weight. One slime can lift about one slime ton. Well, that's super then! The three of us can clear away this free slime ton iron ball right now. Gahaha! <laughs> it's not all mushy goo up there in your head, eh, Swatsy? You've got brains! Every one of us must help to clear things up around here. It would be quite wrong just to rely on Rocket for everything. Here, here! So come on, you lot! Let's get this tiresome fiend out of the way! Ooh, yeah. Nice and strong. And the church is open again! Swatsy and the others all heave together and successfully move the free slime ton iron ball. Oh, you're awake, Rocket! A jolly good morning to you! This is all the plob's doing! They've reduced Boinberg to a pile of rubble! If I ever get my hands on them, I'll come down on them like a ton of bricks! They slime-napped everyone. Dear Goddess, protect your helpless lambs in their darkest hour. They took every last one of us, all 100 slime habitants. It's so beastly, can't you rescue everyone else like you rescued us, Rocket? I'm not stretchy like you, Squishy. I'd crack in two if I tried an Elastoblast. No, you're the only one here who stands a chance against the Plob. We're all praying for you. And we can take care of things here in town. After all, we have the goddess on our side. All for one and one for all, eh? I'll be here in the church, keeping a record of everything that happens, just in case. I'll save it in an adventure log. Don't forget to confess to me what you've been doing. <laughs> Thank you, I will be sure to visit the Catholic Church to do that. So we've got these iron balls here, so once we rescue like 60 slimes, that'll disappear. Once we rescue 20, those will disappear. It's a nice little system. We got that seed back there, which is nice. But man, our town is just a dump. We can go back to the castle, and here's Swatsy. You just leave Boinberg to us, old thing. We're doing a simply grand job out there. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> this, the plob was here, apparently. That's kind of a freaky-looking drawing. Boing. Oh, ni <laughs> nice tank tracks. <laughs> That's a very nice touch. If we go inside the pal- Oh, wow. Look at that, the size of that iron ball. We're not going to be moving that anytime soon. Look at what happened to the- his 
Look at that graffiti. Jeez, that seems unnecessary. The Plob already kidnapped us all. Did they really have to leave offensive graffiti around? Seems a bit of a low blow. Hey, Stony, what's up? Hi there, Squishy. Remember the free slime ton iron ball we moved before? That was the free slime ton, so it took three of us slimes to shift it. So as you rescue more and more slimes, we'll be able to move more and more iron balls. Gahaha! <laughs> Been to the church yet, Squishy? It's a stone's throw from the bridge out of town. So the church is how we are going to save our game. We can't save anywhere, anytime we please. We have to save at the church. Also, one thing to do, there's this giant tree in the church. If we go behind it, you receive a seed of life. Your maximum HP increases by one. So there are a bunch of seeds of life that are lying around in the various worlds. If you collect them, you get more HP. That one's pretty well hidden. There was another one behind the 10 slime tone ball. We will be getting that later on in the game. Anyways, let's talk to Mother Glooperior. It's good to see you back in town, my slime. The place is slowly starting to get back to normal thanks to you. We're all terribly grateful to you, Rocket. You can keep up a record of your adventures here at the church, my slime. Just come alone. Just come, come along whenever you want to save your adventure log. I have plenty of time on my hands here. I'll keep your log safe, don't you worry. Ahem. Let me see, do you wish to update your adventure log? Yes. Are you sure you'd like to overwrite your previous log? Yes. And she gets the scene for us. There you are. Your log is safe with me. Are you going to continue your adventure? No, I'm going to do it. That's going to do it for this episode. The way I'm going to break up episodes is I'm basically going to do... Each episode will be one trip to a world. Now, it might be those uh, videos are under being super long, so I'll have to break those up. That could happen. Not sure yet, because I do want to show off like everything in this game. This is going to be a 100% let's play of the game. I am such a big fan of it. I'm so looking forward to it. I, and again, this the game is pretty slow right now. Once we get once we get through a good bit of the second world, the game massively picks up and it becomes even more fun than it already is. So look forward to that. To just I would say keep watching the let's play until we get to that point and then that's where you'll basically see, all right, is this game going to be one that I want to watch or not? I hope to see you for this let's play. I think it's really fun and I I would love to get more people into this game. It's really fun. And yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless. Oh, hang on. It's wise to rest when you can, my slime. I trust you will have a peaceful respite. Yep. Bless you, my slime. Please switch the power off. So, yeah, tune in next time. We're going back to the forward forest to explore way more of it. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.